sorry, I'm unraveling something. Hello, welcome or welcome back to another knitting stream. Thank you all for coming. Uh, oh, there's a girl talking. Sorry, not talking, she's singing. A little too loud for my liking. Can't concentrate, sorry. Um, but here on this lovely little channel, uh, we do live knitting streams. So you can join me and we can knit along and chit chat about knitting and all that fun stuff just at the top of the show just to let every one know if you're new here if you're not new here grab yourself a cup of lovely drink tell me what you guys are knitting or doing along with me and um yeah let's get on to it that's pretty much all um okay let's go to the chat carly hello yen hello Sophia, hello, Zona, finally early, what's up? Akali, Vilma, hello, uh, Savannah, I cannot believe I'm catching a live, live, oh, I love the stars, thank you for coming, um, still grinding away on the champagne cardi, it is a grind, you got it, you got it, da Diana, did I finally make it to a live, I think you did, I think that's what is happening currently at this moment, uh, is a live stream, and you are here, um, but yes, also, if you guys don't know, on the Discord, drop a picture of what you're knitting on the stream chat, and I'll probably look at it, and we can gawk over what everyone is knitting together, or crocheting, or fiber arting. People can even show, like, stuff that they're just doing, you know. I just bought a bunch of roving. Don't, we don't have to talk about it. Um, but <laughs> I bought some because the lady from Small Board Workshop uh, she's going on a little hiatus because she's going to have surgery, so I just thought to uh, buy some stuff, and she's having, like, a sale, so I was like, okay, buy money, um, and then also I need help. We're going to live buy something on this stream. Just let me do it. We have to do it. Um, Savannah, hi, Jillian, Jasmine, Rebecca, Therese, Ashley, Janelle, Tina, hello, hello, um... I just had to go back to Tuesday's stream and thank you for acknowledge for acknowledge my six months works for my sc my scraps blanket. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so sorry for like, I guess looking at it later, but it was wonderful. Um, hello, good evening, happy knitting, everyone. Gonna listen and knit. I love. Um, hey, happy to finally catch a stream. Hi, Maya, how are you? Um, Emma, Columbine, hello, Abigail. Knits make stuff. Lovely. F yeah, meowdy. For once, I did not sleep through the stream. Oh, um, thank you for being here. That's so, so awesome. Um, this is my first time on your live. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, how do we join the Discord? The Discord should be in the description, I think, below. You just have to click the link if you have Discord already. Um, obviously, you don't have to make a Discord um, just to post something there, but... It's always nice. Uh, bought some drops daisy this morning. Okay, yeah. So that's what we're prefacing. Apparently, PSA, PSA, everybody. Wool Warehouse just put drops daisy on the website. It's on sale. Don't don't buy everything, guys. Okay, please. Can you just like leave some for me for the stream? That would be lovely. But I need to figure out what to get, and I need you guys uh, to help me. Uh, I'm. I've been trying to grade my first design today. I'm so stumped. It's hard. I know. Crocheting the sea glass. Feels so good that I made it to another live. Kiki's Craft Corner, thank you for coming. Still knitting the champagne cardi. Just started the sleeve. Ooh. It always feels good to start sleeves, in my opinion. Like, even though people, like, hate doing the sleeves, it just feels like you're, like, this much closer to finishing. Uh, working on the mod tea. Mod tea is lovely. Also, today is the last day to get the Scenic pre-orders. I will be ordering them. I guess tomorrow morning if I have time um, and then hopefully I can get you guys like an update on when they will come uh, what size needle should I make with socks the smallest I have at the moment is five that is definitely way too big you could kind of make chunky socks if you wanted to patina has one of her sock patterns that is for four millimeters which is not too bad um, Paula, this is my first stream live. Can't wait for the experience. I hope we don't disappoint. Don't tell me. Don't tell me if it disappoints. Um, 
so happy to film, film my shopping addiction through you. Finally caught a stream while doing something We awesome. Using the stream as motivation to work through my top. I just had to frog. Oh, I would otherwise be putting it away and never look at it again. No, you have to do it. I believe in you. It hurts, but it hurts more, I think, like leaving it aside. Um, just cast on a men's sized all over marled Leon for my BF using a charcoal with navy. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Just saw the stream. I'm, uh, I am in this very moment crocheting the, with the drop Stacy yarn. How absolutely freaking lucky of you. I'm going to see it in like three weeks. <laughs> um, Simi, hi. Just cast out. Oh, I read the one. I'm swatching with some mystery yarn my sister gave me. No labels, but it's probably a sweater quantity. Awesome. If you wanted to check the fiber content, you can burn it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a video online that talks about it, but this girl but also like like burn it like cut off like a little bit put it on like a glass plate or something is glass good with that or just something that won't catch fire please be safe anyway you can uh check what uh fiber it is so like if it melts it's acrylic if it burns uh then it's probably a natural fiber and there's specific smells that it gives off which give off like cotton and wool smells i don't know i don't know find the video <laughs> can't wait to see all of the drops you buy place my order on wool, uh, oh, wool warehouse an hour ago oh my god what did you get tell me tell me uh it feels like this year everyone has been really fatigued and sleepy yes that i have been struggling with like so bad recently like i've seen a lot of people say that they have like long covid and i don't know if this is like necessarily long covid but i could sleep for 12 hours it's really hard not to uh, where am I? Where am I? Sorry, I don't know why my nose is a little stuffy right now. Oh, I hope you did not hear that. I'm so sorry. Um, working 30 minutes left until I can get back to knitting. Love, after the scrap blanket, I'll be making my wedding blanket. Yes, do it, do it. Binged all your streams and got inspired to start knitting. Oh, I'm making my first sweater vest. That's lovely. We love a good inspiration. Um, hi Tiffany, I'm wearing my Mars size. Oh my gosh, matching. Oh my gosh, I love. Copied your yarn choice and colors. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, so we're literally matching. Okay, well, that's stunning. No, it's it's such a wonderful combo. Like I saw lots of people do it with the exact combo and it made me feel really cute inside. I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe I can't believe people actually wanted to make something that I made with the choices I made. <laughs> um, but I feel that way with all of my uh, patterns as well um crochet at the moment little two toad stools on pencils for my daughter's fifth birthday to give in class okay well that's so much work and you're so lovely uh i love sleeves they go by fast yes that is also another reason i love sleeves but then like making your own sleeves like having to make a pattern for that no bueno it's honestly not fun because <laughs> i never know how many decreases is like good enough Sleeves are probably my fave after ribbing. Ooh, ribbing is nice. I'm on the train and my phone's about to run out of battery, but I'll rejoin once I get home. Literally, no worries. Thank you. Um, OMG, my wool warehouse order came in and no customs Canada. Yes. Need some daisy once I've worked through this current order. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I bet you, like, they're going to put the daisy on sale again. Like, you definitely don't have to get it right away. It's just, like, I think I've hyped it up too much in my mind. I think because we've brought it up so many times on the stream, like it's probably not even that good i'm just like in my head i'm like okay well we have to test this out because we've been saying so many things okay excuse me yarn okay uh so excited for my c knits it's gonna be an early christmas present to myself using my bf's money <laughs> oh jelly every time i ask my bf to buy me something i feel bad because he's not technically working right now so i can't I'll have to wait until he does actually make money because it's not nice. <laughs> uh, saw you mention seeing it asymmetrical circulars. I bought a bunch of it in Japan, but Japan is such weird sizes. 2.1, 2.4. Oh, goodness gracious. No, thank you. <laughs> well, it smells like burning hair. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, going to my first open knit night in a beautiful yarn store. Oh my gosh, jelly so jelly uh this is good to know about testing the fiber type my sister works for a big box store so i'm pretty sure it's acrylic oh, okay okay then i mean you know you know you never know 
Uh, it could also be burnout, TBA, or a mix of two. Wouldn't be surprised if you also have milked. If you have milked long weekend since <laughs> weekend long COVID since you've been extra fatigued ever since. Good news, it's not always permanent. Okay. I just unraveled an old thrifted sweater I got for three euros and I got like four and a half cakes of velvet yarn. Oh my god, stunning. Velvet. Oh, what are you gonna do with it? Um, by the way, I went to Fia Fia earlier this week and it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I totally remember you saying that you were going. Um, the owner was so nice, spent way too much money though. <laughs> uh, I feel you. I feel you. I've been spending, we'd be spending too much money here. Um, we need to bring it down a little because of uh, inflation. We need to calm it down a little. Um, just popping in from the Rugby World Cup. Like you're participating or you're watching love uh was thinking of trying the daisy for a hat do you for the oslo or the weekend hat oh weekend weekend 100 percent. not even a question i really want to make my own like thick version of an oslo hat like for my own pattern just to have like a very basic stockinette one um in the collection of patterns but uh I know Witter Design, she has this stockinette hat, which is also pretty nice. Um, but I've never made it. I'm working on the Audrey top. I really hope I can finish it before I go to Greece. The Audrey top is really fast, so I totally believe in you. Oh, mild long COVID. <laughs> Love. Got some Black Daisy for a chestnut sweater and then a bunch of Fable for different socks since I'm now in my sock knitting era. Okay. Okay. We love. We love. We love. Uh, hey, oh, hi. was watching Leftovers, but they're overtime. Just bought... Uh, six balls of daisies for two beanies for a wedding gift. So sweet. Um, I, I haven't watched. I'm behind. I'm behind on all of H3 for a little bit, uh, but I will catch up soon. Uh, I need to know if the daisy is a good do, but that's me. I need to know. So that's what we're going to do. Um, another game of gotta catch them all. I know it's dangerous. It's really dangerous. I don't know why I do this to myself. Uh, literally was thinking about using Job Stacy to make the Marseille sweater with the color combo you're wearing. It's so cute. Ooh. Um, you can do it. I, okay. I need you. Okay, wait. Sorry. I, let me just finish, uh, unraveling this guy and then we will get to, uh, the help that I need for the buying and then I will continue knitting, uh, my my henley i have made some progress oh god this little oh my gosh i made this not worse um do you have any ideas to use for the drop stacy i i mean you could literally do anything that requires like a dk weight yarn but i will let you know give me like two seconds like literally i just need to figure out please Oh, this is really messed up. I don't know where it's all coming from. Ugh. Don't you just hate it when this happens? Like, I wasn't even using this yarn, and then, bam, she's all messed up. It's taking me, like, so long to do this. Okay. Um... If the do is the if the daisy is a dupe for double Sunday, it's over for me <laughs> in my bank account. I also want to see how she pills, like, cause I am making the uh, I'm making a sweater with the double Sunday, and I just want to see if they the pill comparison is the same kind of thing. Um, I'm attending a yarn festival on Sunday, which is funny because I'm freshly unemployed and will be making stupid financial choices um but girl math you know what i mean i've been watching a lot of girl math videos and honestly accurate super accurate in my opinion i see nothing wrong with anything live life laugh love i will forever be saying that now not even ironically just do it um uh, i've been very i've had a very severe case of long covid since the beginning of the pandemic the fate Fatigue is very annoying. Def not my worst symptom, but it's so inconvenient. I just... Sleep doesn't fit it, though. Oh, just sleep doesn't fit it now. I... Okay, well, that's so scary. I feel for you so much. I, I feel like... I probably do have mild... Um, 
issues with that because I never had such fatigue problems before COVID. Um, okay, finally, finally. Where is she going? Okay, whew. Um, but yeah, I'll show the Henley first and then we'll go shopping, okay? Um, it's not much though. This is just what it looks like. And the plan is, is to have these two sections, um, kind of knit a band here and then a, another band, I guess, for the neckline, but I'm up to the body and I'm knitting it on like such small needles. <laughs> so that's going to be funny, but it's definitely going to be super, super, um, baggy. I feel like the positive ease is going to be quite a lot for this one. Um... Other things work wonders, but even if it's just fatigue and not long COVID, doctors can still help. Oh, okay, yeah, I might reach out. I still have to work on my GERD, which is, like, so lovely. Um, currently working on a bow song knit. Had to translate from Korean to English. Oh, wow. I hope that's, like, an accurate translation. I like how I'm just totes vibing at work, crochet, and watching a stream. Honestly, a vibe. Um, hi Tiff, how have you been? Finally caught a stream after a while. My schedule this term means I have classes right during your streams. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. You can always watch them later. Um, I, but how have you been? I have been Gucci, um, for the most part. Like, the GERD has definitely come back and hit us, but we're still getting stuff done, which is really nice. I've been, like, trying to, like, keep up with all the the stuff that has to do with typical bliss it's just meant that knitting kind of goes to the back burner I don't knit as much because I'm trying to focus I guess more on work tasks <laughs> uh, is Daisy a merino I think it is I think it is I could be wrong it just says it's a wool though okay so ooh, screen share okay ooh, we're going shopping oh baggy we love Tiff did you maybe thought about uh your turtleneck sweater pattern some more would love to hear some news on your pattern so excited for you also for me <laughs> um wait but which turtleneck sweater is the question um i mean we're just slowly working along all the patterns i definitely can't knit them super quick like i'm not like your girl's not petite knit okay we don't have like 15 other people like helping me out uh, bonjour. Ooh, working on my crochet ribbing vest. Almost finished. Love. Um, is it super wash? Product description. Non super wash. Okay. Extra fine merino wool. Okay. Four strand spun, which gives the yarn extra elasticity. Okay. How's your yellow arrow going? I need to dye up, so I'm going to be dyeing up yarn today. So hopefully I can dye it so then I have that yarn and so i can knit up my sweater because it's so cute um but anyway for this guy my plan is is to make the striped sweater that i was talking about in the fall video so it's just this one i did find it it is the totem sweater i do want to make essentially the exact dupe for this because your girl does not have 760 dollars um, so she has to be done. Uh, I might just do the neck might be a little different. I'm not necessarily in love with, oh, you can't see it. This, if you can see this little picture, um, the, the striping is a little uneven with that total neck. So we don't know. We don't know how we feel about that, but she's going to happen. I was trying to look at people using drops daisy already which is like crazy that people even have already um but i was looking at color matches uh okay where am i uh hi hope everyone's doing well was thinking of placing a wool warehouse order for the drop sale now i, I have the reason to do so I, me me um my two and a half chicos arrived i managed to break my other sock needle so i had to go on a small sock break oh it's so just a small tiny little break do you guys knit mini socks i wish i wish i had the time we wish we wish we wish um but i don't know i don't i don't want to knit too much and hurt my hand so it's like a 
it's a hard balance between the two. Uh, I have second sock syndrome. I can't bring myself to start it. Oh, we maybe like one stream we could do sock knitting and another stream is just like catch up knitting because these streams do actually help me have like a set amount of time to knit and we really like that take your time just love being in your process oh love okay uh love the pastels okay okay working on sweater number 18 oh i i don't remember all of the numbers i'm so sorry it's so painful um i cannot do the numbers okay okay so I have an issue i don't know how much to buy so like if you see this like and then like you look at it it's kind of white right so i'm kind of concerned on if i should get should okay first should i get the marzipan or should i get the white okay so we got white okay show me the white that is not white white or marzipan I think I do have to do the marzipan. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sniffing a little bit too much. I should really bring tissue in here. Um, I bought a sweater quantity of Daisy and Kinsolk and got it last week. Don't actually know what I want to make. I wasn't thinking at all. <laughs> They're in the pistachio ice cream shades. I mean, honestly, ooh, I feel like a storm sweater would be cute. Um, okay, I need to know what the hype is about Drops Daisy. Please help me understand. There literally is no hype. I think I'm hyping it up for no reason on this stream. Uh, but it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the double Sunday. Uh, so I just kind of want to see if it is or not. So we're just going to test it out. And I think it'd be really nice to try it and then make a sweater with it. Um, stream time start my second sleeve on the Ingrid sweater love. I'm so in love with the designs making dupes of store bought sweaters. They have uh, making They have making vibes and moves um, Marzipan deaf. Okay. Okay, but everyone's saying marzipan like I think it's marzipan. Okay, and then my other issue is usually it takes like a thousand and a bit maybe like Maybe like a thousand a hundred to make like a sweater uh so i'm thinking i buy seven marzipan five black for 12 which is 103 like 1300 which is probably a lot more than i actually need so i think that's what we'll go with i'll just like cry a little if it doesn't work um yes i needed the sweater i'm wearing it's the the mars I, the Marseille sweater. Did I choose the right one? I probably didn't. I'm so sorry. Um, I think I missed it, but what are you knitting with Drops Daisy? I'm really Jonessing. Jonessing. To cast on the stripe hype sweater. Okay. I won free tickets to Knit City from Ancient Art Yarns. I'm so excited to get all the sock yarns. Oh my gosh, yeah, I saw that on your Instagram story. I will be going to Knit City. Uh, I'm going on the Saturday with a couple of my friends who don't really knit too much, but they're going for support. Um, OMG, I just got on the live and your shopping drops. Daisy, I also got some from Wool Warehouse today. Oh my gosh, I love that everyone just knew and no one told me. Guys, I thought you guys had my back here because uh, I didn't know uh, until literally right before the stream. Anyone using sock looms? Game changer for Ma. But they're so expensive. How'd you how'd you like get yourself to do it and like plunge? Turtlenecks are so cute, but I hate wearing them. I don't know how you guys do it. Oh, turtlenecks are so good. Okay, working on the teddy pant. They are a gift. I'm literally dying of cuteness. Oh, that's so cute. Like Mars pen more if you pair it with black. Okay, sorry. I need to catch up on the chat. I'm in the anti pastel era, which is funny because I've been crocheting pastel scraps. <laughs> okay. 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 And then okay, check the Discord. Oh my gosh, already? We're not even at two yet. Is there something there? Let me know, let me know. Um, I don't know what the Celeste sweater is. The Knit Pro Girl is making another store-bought sweater based off of cost sweater. It's gorgeous. I mean, stunning. If you guys have any sweater suggestions, um, I'm always looking for like a good basic sweater to copy. <laughs> uh, okay, dupes, double Sunday dupe. Please update on. Yes, for sure. Because I do have double Sunday as well. Um, Knit City is this weekend. Yes, you did use the right one. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I don't know if it's the right pronunciation, but I understood you. 
stop. I'm going to buy some right now to make a folklore card again. Literally. Don't you dare buy this out for me. There's no way. There's no way. Like, there's like a, there's like almost 200 left. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. I would welcome any Baba dupe. Literally, my basic sweater is kind of a dupe from them. So that's totally fine. I need to like master the cardigan from the Baha Baba for sure. Oh, that's where people I know. Oh, about the Daisy Young Old Warehouse. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I should check the Discord because people probably update on all the good deals, on all the best deals. I knew it. <laughs> I hope it's okay. Like, it's not essentially like a dupe because technically these people don't have these patterns out. Like, I'm still making my own pattern. Like, I'm not like actually fully copying them, okay? I'm just getting inspirationes from them. And that's what I will say. Um, I'm doing the porcelain sweater with off-white and cobalt. Yes, please. Sorry, I saw someone walking across the thingy. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm French. Okay, good, good. I'm using the KB adjustable loom, not the crank loom. KB adjustable loom. Oh, interesting. I've never used it before. Looks tedious though, because you have to like hand do every single one. Um, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Nah, for me, it's not only okay, it's actually necessary. <laughs> me. Okay, so, question. Do I buy another project worth in Drops Daisy? Or not risk it, because, like, again, we don't really know if it's good, you know. I just don't really know what colors I will want. I love the red, but we have too much red. OMG, thoughts on the Celeste sweater? It's gonna eat, I fear. Okay, where do I find this Celeste sweater? Sweater? I'd buy one for now. <laughs> yes to project worth. Okay. Oh, no we do another project worth like i'm doing i'm for sure gonna do the striped sweater and it's like do i do another thing you know what do we do oh oh you're talking about oh no i was like what are you talking about i was so confused <laughs> no i know exactly what you're talking about oh my gosh tiffany well i i love that someone is already doing a swatch or what is this what is this i'm confused um how do I look at the translation? Um, your notification stresses me out. I don't even look at them. There's just no way. I can't, I can't like, there really is no way. Uh, I don't like it, but I'm afraid I'll do it. Okay, wait, let me, leave. okay. The knitting, the knitting sample for Petite Knit that Celeste has in the casting box is ready. Okay, so this was, I guess, a sample. I think it's gonna be really cool. And I think if I have some scraps I can use, that would also be cool. So I'm like into it. I'm into it. Mm, she, I'm trying to see if I can. I get it. And I'll pr like, I want to do it, but I know I shouldn't do it is the answer. Um, did you see the mohair is also on sale? I did. I'm probably going to get some just to... Uh, replenish something that I'm out of um, it's a swatch in the round and then they cut in the back oh I see pray for me I just bought some Daisy I have like no money for it but it's so cheap it's on sale cuz I don't know what the original price is 350 pound what is 350 pound Ooh, she's six dollars okay Okay, um, pray for, okay, it looks so intricate, it looks so intricate, but the loose ends must be hellish. I can't imagine there being loose ends, um, it seems like it's in the round. My head blocks the price right there. <laughs> the price is right there, guys. Um, okay, okay. So, okay, okay. So maybe, like, not, like, a full, not a full sweater, we can, I can justify. Do you know what I mean? Just because I'm kind of curious about 
I'm curious about the colors. Curious about the colors, but I'm a little, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, okay, stunning. Oh, what a steal, bless you. I think I'm in my pumpkin area. I just want dark orange and deep green pullover. I mean, sounds absolutely stunning. Um, in the last live, didn't you say drops was good because it has good sales and boom sale today on Mobile Warehouse? Mother Bliss manifested it. I mean, the sale has been on for a little while, but like, yeah, the sale for Daisy is on a stream day, no less. You can't tell me someone doesn't work there and watch my, my streams. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, they probably don't, but I can think and I can dream. Okay. I'm just trying to look at the different colors that people have. And like, they're adorable. I should also buy some drops for um, Inga. I like, okay, what blue is this? Do we like this blue? I have too much blue. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll just do that. I think 55 bucks is probably a lot already. And if I like it, then we'll like go for like the browns or something. If you're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Um, I will go to the knitting page, um, but I will probably, should I buy it now? Let me just move a couple of these things. Moss green looks cute. It's literally all sold out. Um, I just am so excited for the totem dupe. I was actually actively looking for a pattern like this. I, yeah, I think there just isn't like a sweater pattern that looks like that on the market. And that's why I really wanted to do it. Um, because that's like the type of stripe that I feel like I would wear all the time. Like, don't get me wrong. I love, we love my, my guy here, but let's do it then. <laughs> um, I suppose calling my name. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is also, PSA, this is not financial advice, guys. I'm not telling you where you should spend your money. Don't blame me <laughs> for you guys buying things. I'm just, I'm just telling you I'm also doing it. But yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll buy, okay. Just, I'm not gonna have it on the screen because like obviously, yeah, in case it sells out. Okay. Yeah, because you guys, I hear you all and you, you all sound like you're gonna buy stuff. So we gotta buy it before it's all gone, is what I'm hearing. Um, uh, deliver to this address. Okay. Um, just making sure no one is seeing this. At this point, they should sponsor you. They really should, but they don't know who I am. So I don't think it'll ever happen. But you girl can dream. Let's all click order at the same time, Chorizo gang. Oh, you guys, please stop. Okay, we bought it. We literally bought it. We literally just bought it right now. I hate how easy it is to buy things. Okay, we'll stop. But I think it's for a good purpose because it's for a pattern and it's to also do a review and to show you guys. I should do a whole video on like how drops is like, like comparable to Sun is Garden or something. Okay. Whew. You guys are bad influences on me. I love that we are both mutually bad influences. You guys were always being like, buy it now. <laughs> um, if we're getting the Daisy, might as well stock up on others and save on the shipping. Uh, dude, I already bought, dude, that's the funny thing is because I already bought, we already made a purchase on the drop sale because I was like okay I need some red for the um, sweater that I wanted to do and um, I needed some pink mohair but now we just honestly just take my money just I don't even care about shipping at this point um, for my b-day I'm going all out I'm so excited love Nairs would literally make the worst financial advisors 100% look this isn't your fault I'm easily influenced and love me some yarn yes just got home from a 15 hour work day gonna listen to the stream as I get ready for bed oh this is gonna be one chaotic chaotic stream to listen to um 
TBH, half the daisy colors are up my alley, so it might be my go-to DK weight yarn in the future. Ooh. I think if they do let me, um, like my supplier, if they have Drops Daisy, I'll for sure be ordering it. If I love it. Okay, if I love it. If I don't love it, I will let all of you know. Um, Delulu is the Salulu. <laughs> I love when people say Delulu. I think it's so funny. Um, the Abby Genser by Sunnis Garn has a familiar vibe to the sweater. Yes, yes, that is exactly what I was talking about. But it's the vibe, you know? It's not really the... It's not it, though. And I want it to be it. Um, Law, it was me that dropped that daisy. Was on Wool Warehouse in the Discord. Oh, thank you. Gotta share the knowledge. You, you truly do. It's so... It's so useful, but also get your yarn first to make sure it doesn't sell out. Um, girl, you are one more viral video away from a job sponsorship. <laughs> Dude, I wish, but I, I don't think they would ever. I don't think they would ever. Um, we're the blind leading the blind. Oh, we are so blind, guys. We are the blindest of them all. But, like, if you think about it, it's, like, one of the cheaper options for, like, DK white yarn, so... I don't think we're too blind, you know? Uh, we're all just sheep. <laughs> uh, truly. Okay. Now I'm gonna line this up. Do you think two strands of Holzgarn Super Soft one strand silk mohair is too thin for the storm? Maybe. I do find um, the Holzgarn Super Soft to be really thin, but it's said to bloom really nicely. So that is the issue <laughs> with that one so technically it probably could i would say if you have it already like if you have the super soft maybe swatch it first and then block it to check how much it blooms got the goods <laughs> not after i just ordered new teddy fresh oh i'm so jelly teddy fresh is having a sale and the shipping is just so expensive i like can't justify it um so i cry every day thinking about it um i actually live 10 minutes away from wool warehouse oh my gosh i thought i know that they closed their physical store or something like they're just doing warehouse-esque things <laughs> uh i'm wearing the marseille sweater marseille oh my gosh tiffany the marseille sweater uh, by patina um you look so good. Oh my gosh. You're too sweet. I honestly should have gotten more flora because I'm kind of running out. I have this gray and I don't think I'll have enough for this guy. So that's going to be funny. Um, I hope we don't hate it. We won't, right? Oh my gosh. It best be good. It best be the best thing ever or I will cry because like then my striped sweater is going to be in Daisy and... I can't afford it to be not good because it's going to be an amazing sweater. So like I already know I already I can already feel in my bones that it's going to be such a good striped sweater. I feel it. I feel it so much. Um, hi, guys. What's the big deal with Drops Daisy? Seems new. Is it amazing? Do we know? We don't know. We don't know. I'm just joining the stream. That is totally fine. I don't think a lot of people know, but in the, in the last couple streams, okay, we've been hyping it up a little, okay? Because we've heard that it's new. It's coming out. It's a DK weight yarn. It's, like, cheap. It's, like, comparable to Sun is Garn Double Sunday. We just want to know. I'm just going to try to figure that out for you. You don't have to buy it right away because it's probably going... It's probably going on sale probably in the next <laughs> couple months. Um, so... I just want to do that. I just want to get it for me and tell you all if it's good. Um, so it better be is the answer. Um, and in case, oh wait, hopefully Daisy will come in a chocolate brown. Yeah, like a really dark brown. That would be stunning. I find they don't have a lot of browns in the collection. Uh, I was thinking about how long I've been coming to these streams and it's always, and it's like almost the entire time. <laughs> That's wild. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, thank you for coming. I was looking. We. I think this is like the 34th stream here on YouTube and I like I think about it and 30 doesn't seem like that many but if you give that like in weeks time it's I guess a lot um 
in case anyone was curious, I ordered from Fia Fia on Friday and it arrived yesterday. Nice. They're also having a sale on Friday if you guys want to check. I will be checking it, unfortunately. Crying all the time. We will collectively sell out that drop sale. <laughs> we might. We literally might. It's scary. It's so, yeah, it was really funny. There, this one girl was like, I'm from Europe and I don't understand the hype. It's just like a generic yarn and like me over here, like freaking out about um, each time they come up with a new yarn. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's just cause there's not a lot of good yarns here. Not a lot of good quality ones. The cookies message is blocking the checkout button on my computer. <laughs> um did you hear about the colleen ballinger jojo siwa tea of course oh of course of course um do i think it's weird absolutely i do i feel bad for jojo 100 percent because i think she was 100 percent like um you know you know uh, how much is shipping to canada i think it's like 20 bucks but then if you add on she adds like, I don't know why the sweat site does it, but they add on duties and duties and something else. No, it's 20 USD. Uh, and then it's, uh, I think, yeah, duties and taxes. So if I want to get something, if, if I want to get something that's like 100 bucks, it's probably going to be 200 bucks. Just with shipping duties and taxes and all that stuff. So it's just, it hurts. Um... The Colleen Ballinger tea is somehow still going and I cannot. And then HD drops the ball on 8 Passenger. Wait, drops the ball like a bad, like a bad take? Or like a good drops the ball? I'm sorry, I don't really know. Um, I've yet to watch yesterday's stream. So I'm not truly, truly caught up. I'm only caught up to like the JoJo Siwa part. <laughs> Uh, I've knitted the storm sweater in two strands of super soft from Hulse, but I would say you need to go up two sizes. Damn. Okay. Thank you for letting us all know. Um, ooh, we behind. I'd be a little behind. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's going to be the best striped sweater I'm living. I am alive. <laughs> I am alive, guys. I want to be on the lookout for yarn for the Henley. What is the combined weight of the yarn? Okay, well, I'm holding two strands Flora, which is a DK weight, and then I'm holding one strand of this. It is, um, it's Woolen, Woolen the Gang. <laughs> it's one of their yarns. I'll have to write it down somewhere, but it's kind of like, I would say a DK. So if you're holding two DK weight yarns, it's maybe like a worsted, if not a bulky. Um, and this is seven millimeters. So if you're wor like, if you're worried, I guess I'll measure it right now. I'll let you know what the, how many stitches are in a row. So you can kind of guesstimate when, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So it's 13 stitches across i hope that helps um the drop sale on daisy ends on september 30th according to the website yes that is why we had to get it like right away because we i was dude literally tuesday we were just talking about how they how can they have a sale that ends on the 30th yet i have not been able to find uh the daisy available anywhere uh and then yeah so any I had to hop on it. Um, finishing the zipper sweater, starting the egg need. Oh, she's scary. I'm so scared after seeing your live where you work on it, but I'm ready for the challenge. If you need the lives, you can watch them and hopefully they can motivate you and help you along the way. Um, Cause it's a, it's a beautiful one. I do agree. Uh, I can buy some for 280 euro a, a ball. Is it a good yarn? I've had mixed experience with drops. Yeah, I think drops, you it's mixed that's why i'm trying it so again we're free balling it we're risking it all because i'm not too sure how it is gonna be so that's gonna be funny if it's like horrible i don't know yet so maybe just like wait it out wait for wait for me to kind of or more people to say their experiences with it um 
I've heard that drops charisma pills a lot. I've heard that that one's not as great. And someone told me that the extra fine merino is not that great. Some people tell me that they don't like fable, but then I've had other people tell me they like fable. So like, I would say if it's available to you and you can touch it, maybe figure out if you like it there. Um, I realized the other day that I've been here since the second video ever. Oh, thank you for being here. That's so sweet. Um, I mean, I think OG people are from like the Twitch days, but uh, you can't really monitor that. Um, by the way, does anyone have a good tip for a cheap Aaron weight yarn? Feels impossible to find something nice. Um, <laughs> Drops Alaska is having a sale. They're like, it's $2. It's like two something. It's so silly. <laughs> I hate that I love a good deal and I hate that you guys also love a good deal so we just like feed off of that together um but I, but again I haven't tried that one so that's probably not the best Nepal's okay but it pills I would say hold it with a mohair if you can but it's really cheap when it goes on sale um I've still got so much holes left I'm going to Lisbon next week I want to buy yarn there so I'm on a ban I'm so tempted though oh like you want to buy holes now Wait, you have lots of holes left. You're going to Lisbon, but you want to buy your own, but you're on a ban. Wait, but if you're in Lisbon, it's like, this is horrible advice, but like, if you don't go to Lisbon often, you can like, like, when is the next time you're going to get Lisbon yarn? You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. Uh, I feel like we don't have much yarn in Canada. We don't. I, I tried to reach out to a wholesaler because they sell... Uh, Canadian yarn so I want to hold more Canadian yarn and I need to reach out to Briggs and Little because I want to hold them too because they're also Canadian and pretty rustic so uh, we love that the reason why North America is freaking out is because we don't have cheap affordable wool yarn if we did like Europe we wouldn't be freaking out I know it's probably so easy they're like it's so easy here and I'm like you know what that hurts uh, I heard Drops Christmas wasn't good, but I've never used it myself. Same. Haven't heard the latest Colleen tea. Can I have a rundown? I'm driving so I can't research. <laughs> I love that you have to research. Um, we can if you want a little rundown. Uh, let me guys know if you guys want that. Um, but I don't know if I could do it justice because it's so intricate and there's so many ends to be woven. But we could react a little for sure. Uh, do you have any advice for someone that wants to grow their knitting Instagram? Uh, I would say don't forget to post progress photos. I'm horrible at it. And that's probably one reason why my Instagram is not very good at growing is posting a lot of progress or like making sure that you're making a lot of content that's uh, related to the progress because people love the progress. Um, and obviously you can take pictures of the final piece, but it's more about the progress. Uh, second. I would say reels focus on reels unfortunately I hate it too but it's kind of something that I think if you want to grow it's something that you should focus on um, hashtags I think are also helpful and then interacting with a bunch of different creators on the platform it's also really good um, if you really want I mean I guess test knitting also helps if you are doing something by a designer but I I don't know about that one for sure okay does anyone have any ideas of what pattern to make with nine and a half skeins of drops flora I've been procrastinating by making gloves and hats nine honestly okay I'm thinking you need five you could hold a double and maybe make like a sweater. Um, Canada used to produce something like 90% of the textiles we use, but now it's more like 5%. Wait, why? What happened? That's so upsetting. I guess outsourcing made it less necessary to produce here for sure. In all seriousness, I'm so glad they came out with Drops Daisy. I felt a bit left out financially by all, oh, by all the beautiful double Sunday stuff as a student. I know, and that is why... Like, I will never stop advocating for cheap and affordable yarn that is, you know, like, relatively as good as quality as it can get for that price. And that's why I love to talk about it. Because even when I use uh, Double Sunday or, like, Issa Year or Nitty for All of I always think, like, wow, like, I'm, like, so fortunate enough to use this. Because it would have been a dream 
uh, as a university student to be able to use something like that. Um, okay, people were commenting on the dropped Insta saying how hard Daisy was to get. Yeah, I saw that. So I'm glad it's available for at least a few days before the sale ends. Yeah. So get that, get that drops at the wool warehouse. I, dude, I even looked. So people were suggesting Linda, Linda Hobby and Rito Hobby. I could not get either of them to ship to Canada. So devastating. Um, yes, tea, yes, rundown. Okay, what tea rundown? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, I'm behind. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Uh, I have so much drops yarn in my stash that I don't know what to do with. Which drops yarn is your fave? Have you tried brushed alpaca? I have it in the stash. I can't for the life of me decide what to knit with it either. So twinning. Um, I love flora, but I only love it because you can mix it with a lot of stuff to add weight, but I don't love it alone. Uh, I do love it with the kid silk. Kid silk's really good. I love Lima. I do want to try a lot more so then I can give more opinions on them. I made my Sophie shawl with drops Nepal and mohair. Almost no pilling. Oh, damn. Okay, so yeah. You just have to hold it with a mohair. Um, how do you feel about the website Ice Yarn? They have super affordable yarn shipping. Could be a little pricey, but it sounds too good to be true. Uh, I've never tried for them. People have told me about them, but the reason I don't buy is because the shipping is so expensive. Um, but I have heard people love it, so. Just did it. Oh my gosh, navy blue for my Ava, and then light blue mohair for sweater 15. Oh yes, oh, it's gonna be good. I love it. Uh, love Briggs and Little. It's, it's made a couple hours from where I live. Oh, you could probably like go get it all the time. Okay, run down. Oh, we have an hour to run this down. Okay, another tip for growth is having consistent brand aesthetic. For sure, that is also, I should have said that, consistency would have been a great one. Um, time to clock out, head home, and do my geology homework. Aw. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I found the cutest yarn shop in Lisbon, and they have their own, they have their own yarn, so I think I'll have to indulge. You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of have to. Uh, hi, please. Do you have any ideas for men's vests? I mean, the typical boyfriend slipover is a stunning one. I recommend it to everyone. Um, my toxic trait is I feel like I'm not happy unless I know there is yarn coming in the mail. I mean, same though. Like it is like a little present to myself and honestly, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm European and knitting is the first hobby where I can easily buy the same stuff as influencers. Makeup and skincare was a nightmare with all American or Asian brands recommended. Oh, oh, that totally makes sense. Um, cause like right now I feel like Asian skincare is like all the news and I find it quite hard to get here in, uh, Canada. Uh, but recently there's been a lot of stores that are coming that have a lot of stuff. So, uh, we appreciate everyone who's, who's doing that for, <laughs> for, for us people who can't buy things from elsewhere. Uh, Sun Yarn Studio had dropped Daisy on Etsy before it was on Wool Warehouse for sure. I just, I don't know. There's just something about supporting Wool Warehouse, even though I don't get anything from it. I just, I, I like it. I don't know why. Um, they actually sell it in the local dollar stores here. Wow. Oh, Briggs and Little. Oh, stop. A hundred grams for six dollars was four fifty for years, but then pandemic. Oh, damn. Oh, that hurts. Uh, I also live very close to Briggs and Little. I really want to go. Dude, you should. What's stopping you? Um, I'm late, but it's nice to see the stream in color again. Someone told me they missed the black and white, so who really knows? Uh, what do you think about using brush alpaca for the Earl's Coast Ganser? Free panel from Roma. I don't know. I'm assuming it would be fine. Okay, I'm heading off because I had to interrupt movie night with my BF to catch the live. Oh my gosh, your poor boyfriend. I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming. <laughs> What's the best online shop for buying affordable yarns online? Well, Warehouse, honestly, I'm pretty sure the shipping is pretty cheap. Um, I'm trying to think of other American. Knitpicks is also pretty good. Knitpicks has some pretty affordable yarn, like 100%. Like, you get so much good things from there. Um, Random and not super relevant, but I just realized I can knit stock in it almost as fast as you can after a year of knitting Continental. Oh my gosh, stunning. Dude, like, I mean, I never say that I'm like the fastest knitter, but like if you can get to that speed, I mean, don't go faster. Cause like, I think it'll just hurt thy hands. 
Um, TBH, I love how much you hype Wool Warehouse even though you aren't sponsored. It goes to show how much we can trust your opinions. I mean, it, like, that would be total ass if, like, there was, like, someone who was only supporting this one brand, like, as excessively as I do, and I was being sponsored for that. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um... Okay, you should totally do a video with your favorite yarn combinations. I mean, I'm down. I'm down. Um, Briggs and Little is $7.99 USD. Must be import tax. Yeah, that is a little spency. Um, the bind off on your sleeve looks so good. Oh, you're so sweet. She's tubular. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try... I don't think I'm gonna do a good job of the Colleen Ballinger um drama so let me just like double check that there isn't more drama no but like we're up to date though with like we're we're up to date to the ukulele song for sure right you guys please tell me you're up to date with that if you're not up to date with that then i don't know what to tell you um But I think if you really, really want to, like, if you want to dedicate, like, like a good, a good little bit, um, to, like, of your life to this drama, I highly recommend watching Swoop. So if you guys don't know, Swoop is kind of the one who is navigating, I would say, this Colleen Ballinger drama, um because she's just done like a whole deep dive, deep dive, like done so much investigation work, talking to like the actual people about it. Um, yeah, I think most relevant recent drama would be Josh's Swoop interview, yes. Yeah, and then the JoJo interview, yes, for sure. So I think if you really wanna know about it, just watch, I mean, they're literally like three hours long, but it's really nice to put in the background when you're knitting, and that's what I've been doing. Um, so, Anyway, if you guys don't know, she did, you have to watch this video though, like for sure. <laughs> um, it's the devil in Colleen Ballinger's shadow. So essentially one of the people who came out before, um, I guess saying that Colleen was kind of grooming them and sending them like nude images of Trisha Paytas and all that stuff, uh, was this guy named Johnny. Um, and so Johnny was then kind of outed by Swoop for being a total, like, liar, essentially, kind of just, like, making up stuff. Uh, he kind of went on to say that um, Colleen's ex-husband, Josh, was, like, grooming him and, like, honestly defaming him at this point, uh, just saying, like, some really nasty stuff. So then Josh did a whole interview about it. Um, I haven't technically watched any of the section about Josh. I only watched the section of Josh's interview where he talks about Colleen and his, I guess, experience with her and how he, he insinu- like, he pretty much said that, like, Colleen for sure cheated on him with, uh, with her now husband. So... I love how everyone is still just talking about Briggs and Little. <laughs> um, do you have any favorite pattern makers? Like, not the designs, but how the pattern itself is written and formatted. I mean, Petite Knit, I would say, is the gold standard. Uh, I know a lot of people don't necessarily love her stuff, but I think it's one of the better, like quality patterns out there like I hate no offense to you guys but like like wool and the gang and like whack like some of their pattern writing is horrible drops design also has horrible horrible written patterns on their website like they don't even let you download them and have them on like a pdf you have to read them off of the website I hate it when people do that um like I would say to think of a good quality 
pattern. My favorite thing to wear is okay, but it's not as high quality uh, as petite knit. Um, I've yet to see any Sunscarn. I have been meaning I need to buy one of their booklets because I would love to use one of them and see if they're like good, <laughs> well written. Um, yeah, when patterns are only on websites, I just copy paste into Google Doc. Oh, that's so smart. Because I hate having to go back to the website. It's like, ugh, what are you even doing? Um, petite knit patterns are very straightforward in my opinion. I would just recommend waiting a few weeks after release because sometimes there are minor edits. Ooh, that's true. Uh, the first pattern I ever used was a drops pattern. It was very much a struggle. Yeah, and I think, oh, like Pearl... I hate Pearl Soho for doing it like on their website. I get it because it, it garners traffic and if they have ads on the page, you can get money from that. But their patterns are okay. I think if they're free, it's it's okay. She's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Pearl Soho does that too. Um, the decreases on the Ingrid sweater are so confusing. She doesn't say how to work the increases to keep the pattern of each section consistent. Yeah. Uh, I think that was maybe where she slipped with the Ingrid sweater, but I think if you're, if you're like a more experienced knitter, it shouldn't be a huge issue. And I think that's kind of the problem that she came up with. It was that she was only getting really experienced knitters to do it for her. Um, for drops, if you click the print button, you get a PDF style. Oh, that's smart. Jessie made designs have very clear patterns. Okay, I haven't bought any from her. Um, Lynette will always be tainted in my heart because of um, that pebble top. Uh, I'm trying to think of other really, really good ones. I can't think of too many. Oh, uh, like Spectalist Strick is okay. I don't mind their, her format either. Uh, Sun Scarn has pretty good patterns, but if they have errors, you won't know until you go to the website. Oh, and read the... Oh, yes, yes. That's the same with um, Lane. Lane does that. So if you have bought one of their books, um, they you have to go on the website and you have to check if there's errors for those books because they won't specifically... Uh, they won't specifically uh, give you any updates if you buy the book. Because I, I guess that kind of makes sense, unfortunately. Um... I'm making a Sun of Scar and pattern right now, and they're not really thorough. No, so I'm trusting the process, and I'm, but I'm questioning some stuff. Casting on one third of the sleeve stitches seems excessive. Okay. I was blown away by the amount of detail in the Knit Pearl Girl pattern. So good. Okay. Drop pattern sucks so much, which is a shame because there's some nice ones. I know there are nice ones, and they're free, so I totally get it. Um, oh, it's two. Okay, we'll look at the Discord. Um... Wait, what's wrong with the pebble top pattern? It's just written poorly for the crochet section. Everything else is fine. It's just poorly written there. The demon knitwear pattern is also poorly written because the translation to English is just not the best. Um, Lily, Lily Kate France writes amazing patterns. Okay, awesome, awesome. Add schematics. That's cute. Okay. Um... Midori writes great patterns. I think they're so detailed. Like, mom gave me a book of vintage patterns from her youth, and each pattern is literally just a chart, a third of a four page, and no more. I want to try, but don't really know how to start. I feel you. Um, dude, I should do a... Oh my gosh, I should I should write this down. I should do a, a tutorial on how to figure out old vintage patterns, but I don't know how to do that without showing them, or is it okay to show them? Hard to say. Um... Okay, two of wands also has pretty clear patterns. Okay, um, okay, okay. What was I gonna look up? I don't remember. We were gonna do something. I was literally gonna do something. What was I gonna do, guys? I don't remember. Petite knit stuff. People talking in the chat. Dude, I was literally ready to do something. I don't remember what it was anymore. Okay, we'll just keep knitting then. Oh, Discord. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, 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 yes. It's the Discord. Thank you all. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, Midori patterns are amazing. I'm shocked. Okay. Um, yes, we have to check the Discord. If you guys want me to react to what you're making, 
put it in the Discord. If not, that is okay too. We'll just have a good old time together. Let's hope she doesn't glitch. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's stunning. Glad it's not me who just does this. Who does that? Oh, like forget things? That's me all the time. Okay, well this is stunning. Heather T, stunning. Mandarin Petite, also, I did- Oh, did we do the same color? Is it in putty? Because then, absolutely same. Um, stunning. I hope you wear that literally all the time, because it is so beautiful. Um, yes and yes. Okay. Okay, so that was from before. This is- Oh, this is 20. Okay. Okay. I'm into it. Yesterday. Started the vest number two. Are you, like, the skinniest little queen ever? Like, stunning. <laughs> I also love the mauled. I think the color choice matches, like, this, um, quilt. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Can, 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 how do you say that? Kangelica. <laughs> stunning. I support. It's so cute. Okay. Um, Maya is making oh too tired to join the stream oh but that's so sweet that you posted here that's so cute give her friend love <gasps> wait what should be on a yarn band but a lot of sun is is on sale oh my gosh stunning wait where on the website wait can you just buy off of the sun Garden website stunning what are you gonna make with this all this is so cute. Oh my gosh, all the colors. I'm feeling for them all. These all look like sweater quantities. Tim Gint, what are you going to make? I need to know. Um, you can join the Discord. There should be a description. Uh, you can click the link. Megan, my zipper sweater man for Dad's Xmas. Does anyone know if the sun is gone for this garn? Get any softer once I block. Am I novice cardigan for my mom's Xmas? Okay, so these are both for Xmas. Love so good so good as well um for the fritis garn i'm not too sure i haven't washed any of mine yet but it should happen <laughs> should happen soon um such a mood though i can never remember what i'm doing a mood <laughs> love midori wrote two different cast on types for the rinoculus and i didn't get either of them so i just did my own okay interesting okay what pattern was the first one? Oh, this one are you talking about this this is a uh, cami number one of them it's one of the numbers if i could tell you which one it was i would it's it probably is six or seven if i could guess <laughs> uh okay uh yeah sorry i don't know about the first card okay when you panic and buy double sunday because you think the first card is too rough and you're telling yourself you can totally knit this in time. <laughs> uh, you still have time. October, November. You got time. You got time. You got time. Ooh, is this the, um, Zona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your scrap, uh, blanket, right? Love. You got this. Ooh. Working on my Frankie sweater with Nora Silk Garden Solo. Also broke my yarn band for the third time. Third and fourth time this month gonna make a blue stock on that and a beautiful oh blouse number one light oh i sense it oh with that oh sis lyric oh, oh i'm so jelly oh this is stunning this is so stunning i was gonna buy more uh today i'm supposed to get more of the silk garden sock solo in omitama today number seven okay stunning uh I'm, so i'll be restocking that hopefully soon and i'll be restocking my madara as well Ooh, ooh, yes. F yeah, what are you making? Oh, baby socks. Oh my gosh, is this with one of my yarns? If it's not awkward, but like totally. But this is for sure one of my yarns. I saw that you frogged it. <laughs> You're making another one. So cute. Love. Ooh, Abigail, I'm knitting on a self draft today in one strand of drops. Flora. Damn, what, what needles are you using? That's so small. How are your little hands? Are they okay? Oh, stunning absolutely stunning progress on this lovely fluffiness my september oh my gosh my sweater number nine with drops air do you like drops air is she worth the plunge should i make should i make a pattern with drops air let me know let me know Ooh me <laughs> grafting an invisible seam on my first knitting i'm releasing really soon awesome dude congrats 
back to start decreases on the Oslo. Oh, oh, don't. I need to make, I need to make a stockinette hat, but I need it to be like the chunkiest thing ever. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that like immediately. Currently crocheting the pearl bag by a Spanish designer with recycled yarn from old projects. I was like, <laughs> I thought this was the pattern. Tiffany, stop. G lovely. I hope that's, that must be taking up so much yarn. I've had to make bubbles before in their lot. Do not love jobs air. Okay, good to know, good to know. I'm working through my stash and it's basically just Patreon yarn now. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, it's pretty. The August cardigan. I do love a good alternating cable. She's stunning right there. Um, ooh, the Marseille. Love. Oh, wait, this is the pilliness. Oh, Kim, yes. What is up? That's so weird. I would show you my double Sunday, but it's upstairs. Cause mine's not that pilly. Like, are you working on it? Like on something that is super pilly? Question mark, question mark. Uh, cast off my storm sweater this morning. Gonna block it tonight. So it's ready for my knitting buddies to see on Sunday. Oh my goodness. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning love the color you chose i've been really i saw this one girl on tiktok have like an orange uh vest i almost got it i was this i'm not that close but i was into it i was super into it um oh yes yes i remember wait what the poo you've made so much progress uh it's a little see-through but who cares it's for summer it's i think it's okay if it's see-through like on the top but it won't show anything down there but stunning also we peep a good um project bag <laughs> so cute <gasps> what the absolute poo is this gorgeousness oh my god that's so freaking cool gotta walk my senior chubby pug by <laughs> oh my goodness thank you for coming hope your doggo gets uh, some exercise um this is the coolest thing i've ever seen i'm just gonna leave it on here for a little bit oh my gosh absolutely stunning um yes oh the pepper sweater interesting interesting okay we're gonna have to investigate this and we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to make sure that mine does not look like that and that mine is better i'm literally kidding but am i i'm literally not wait where i will have to look at this dream knit okay we'll look um and people cannot come for me for copying her because that is absolutely offensive to say that I did. Um, just finished the white mountain. The colors look so different depending on the sunlight. More orange or more pink, but I'm happy with it. I love... Oh, in the sunlight, it looks so cool. Like, the oh, the definition. <laughs> the definition of it all. Uh, finished the back panel of my Nomad jacket. So good. Looks so wild. I've never had to make that one, but very cool. Ooh, one of my latest finished sweaters. Okay, okay, she also, okay, so she is making, okay, 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 okay. I think we're gonna have to look at the pebble sweater is what I'm saying. Uh, drop swirl and charcoal and navy. Oh, this one's for your BF. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, your boyfriend is gonna be so cute in it. Um, baby sweater has gotten a bit longer. Nice. Oh, I hate that you have to do bottom up, bottom up but that uh, color work is gonna be very cool uh i honestly feel like it's because i rested on my sofa chair that's corduroy interesting finish this shawl for my partner's birthday and it's so cute it's so sweet oh my gosh that must be so long i'm looking at the one two three four five six length of a shawl oh you put so much effort into that that's so nice okay uh Thank you everyone for showing me all of your stunning pieces. I'm now having, we're going to have to investigate the pepper sweater now, which is like so annoying. Uh, I'm also going to look up. T t no, yeah, yeah. Just want to make sure I'm not copying it. Mm, screen share. Okay, I'm going to look at the actual sweater is on the website if we can find it that would be lovely if we could find it yes okay yeah they totally got inspiration from it 
Lol just got Discord and I'm so confused. I know it is very confusing. Okay. Hopefully Pepper Sweater isn't Norwegian only. No, it is definitely not Norwegian only. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I can still make the sweater without copying this person. Okay, but how can I... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I have to do investigation. Interesting. Interesting way to do the hem. Or not the hem. Oh, it's because they literally did it that way. Interesting. Okay, 2XL, okay. Okay, 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 yarn. Alternative one, knitting for all of Merino. Seven and four on four and a half. Phil Kalana, nine and four. Oh no, should I have, oh no, should I have gotten more? Oh no, maybe I should have gotten, I only got seven of the main one. How many stripes does the totem have and how many on the pepper? Should we count? That's so funny. That's literally so funny. Guys, stop. I'm like, okay. Oh my God, drops Nepal. Interesting. Or drops Alaska. Nine. Oh no, am I gonna need nine? Looks like the totem has thinner stripes. Yes. Okay, I'm counting. Oh, she even did. Do you see how the neckline has a uh, less? It's sh for sure just like the exact thing. And then she also does this little edge part that has um, a little sticking out. They do it the same here. God damn, it uses so many skeins. I know. That's why I'm kind of like, I definitely wouldn't make it this thick. Her, her are quite, it's quite bell bottomy. Like they're quite big quite wide as well. I, I do get that this is wide. So I do get it. But I don't think I would make mine that wide. Um, okay. Drop some plus less yardage than Daisy, so you should be fine with seven. Okay, okay, okay. We'll pray. Because like Phil Kalana, I feel like is the same. It's 110, so maybe in between. Yeah, I would say in between. No, in between 10 and 8 is 9. It's okay. I mean, I'll try not to do 4.5. I'll probably try for 5. Okay, I do want to see... What is this sweater called? Pepper sweater. How much positive ease it is? I love that everyone's trying to follow, so like, <laughs> investigate this guy. Excuse me. Excuse me again. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. 25 to 40 centimeters. Damn. That seems like a lot. Okay. Oh, okay. I definitely wouldn't do the twisted rib. There's just no way. I would not do that to anyone. Um. Hmm. Because I want to make this, but I don't want to, like, obviously copy this pattern. Because I think that's... But then other people can have, like, some... I don't know. No, but a totem-esque sweater with those big, long coats you were showing off. With, on the other stream? I know. I have to do it. I think I will make a pattern. It will just be absolutely so different from this pattern. So I just want to make sure that it's not too similar, I guess is all. So we're just doing a little bit of investigation is 16 weeks ago. Okay. 25 positive ease is like my max. <laughs> um, they're similar, but the proportions for the original totem look better to me, more balanced. I don't think it's copying the pepper. You def had the idea independently. Yeah, it's just like, it like sucks to like have an idea and then see someone else do it. And you're like, oh, I can't do it anymore. But 
Um, I think there's nothing wrong with still doing it, I think. I'm just doing a little bit of an investigation. Uh, I will be sad if she does accuse me of copying them, though. Okay. Um, rip to your armpits in the long wool coat. <laughs> we won't do it that big. There's just no way. Okay. Let's continue. Hmm. Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay, we'll have to see. Because I'm technically using five millimeter for the my basic sweater. Hmm. Hey guys, when you self-draft a sweater, do you use another as a baseline or do you completely wing it? Uh, I will usually wing it. I... But then, I, like, I know, I know what type, like, I'll know, like, oh, I want to drop shoulder or I want to do a raglan kind of thing. You just have to have that uh, in your mind already. Um, but you can kind of use other patterns as a baseline, maybe, like, if, like, you have a t-knit pattern that is using the same yarn and weight and you just kind of want to gauge how big to make it you can kind of use that as a goal post and being like okay if i want it bigger you can use more stitches if you want it smaller you use less um this is such a common sweater style though i saw someone walking down the street yesterday wearing one like this and almost messaged you oh my gosh yeah i mean it's literally just like like a striped sweater it's like like, if I were to make a striped sweater and someone was like, oh, you're just copying the, Mar the Marseille sweater, I would, I would get mad. Or like, oh, you're copying the Leon sweater. It's like, hey, that's just, that's just mean. Um, you could definitely make a lot of changes to how you formulate the sweater with the stripes and sleeves. Um, that would be totally t unique to your own pattern. For sure, like, I... Like, I, like, I'm not going to buy this pattern. Like, there's absolutely no way. Like, I'm going to be using my own techniques. Like, you know, like, I don't know if she does German short rows. I don't know if she, like, what she does for any of her things. Like, I'm just going to do me. And that is A-OK. -okay. Um, I draw a rough idea of what I want swatch than YOLO. <laughs> I do very much YOLO, though. Like, when I'm measuring it, like, at the arm length or whatever, I usually will just do it based off of how it looks on me i'm very i'm very much a yolo knitter which is probably not great but it usually turns out and it's usually okay so we just kind of go with the flow but i would love to get these patterns out first like i still have the henley i still have the Noral cardigan i still have the yellow mohair cardigan um is there another thing I'm doing? Oh, the chunky sweater I still have to do. I'm thinking about redoing the neckline and doing a double border. Double border. So that is going to be an issue, but hopefully I don't start more projects. That would be not okay. <laughs> that would be the worst idea I could have. Um, I think I'm going to self-draft a pinafore dress. I want to knit this winter, and I'm thinking I'll swatch and do some math before first before casting on only because yoloing doesn't often work for me <laughs> i think it's hard to yolo like i think sweaters are easy to yolo i think cardigans are easy to yolo uh i think like other things are if you have more intricate designs so like for my cable sweater idea like that i can't yolo <laughs> um do you grade after you finish knitting it? Um, I guess so. I guess I'll just like count up how many stitches and all that stuff for my size and then figure out the other sizing from there. Uh, there's so many vanilla sweater patterns out there by different makers that look so similar if, it, if not identical, yeah. Pinup 4 is gonna be so sick, I might have to have coffee. Yeah, like I think I was getting up in my head about just people saying like, oh, like designers shouldn't be coming up with all these simple patterns like knitting it should be more unique and like you should be you know doing all these crazy stuff but those aren't the patterns or knits that i'm looking for and going to wear i like 
basic things that I know are going to be super classic and, you know, just things I will always consistently pick up and not get bored of. Because why would I want to make like a bunch of intricate patterns and then they maybe go out of style or I don't like them anymore? Um, the whole thing about copying and stealing designs in the fiber arts community is like, like, I'd assume that they also get into it from somewhere, if not fast fashion on the runway. Yeah, like, I think we were all, I remember when My Favorite Things Knitwear and this other girl, what was her name? Oh, she's an Etsy store. Um, but the, I think it was, oh, it was Cami number six, maybe. Um, people were saying that that was like copying, but. I think they both just collectively saw it somewhere and decided to make it. So I think I'm a bit more lenient with what I assume is like design copying because of how many basic things I want to make. Um, yeah, Pinterest as well. I know there's so many, th there's only so many things that can be shown to you on Pinterest. Um, guys, ideas for a teeny portable project in one skein of red sunscreen alpaca, teeny tiny. <gasps> I was gonna say the Sophie scarf or something. That would be so cute. Or like a red, oh, the bow. The December bow would also be so cute. And just, oh, it'd be so fun, so fun to knit. Uh, I like wearing basics, but I get bored of stockinette. It's a real dilemma. Oh, what do you do at that point then? Then I would do, I don't know. I don't know, ribbing? <laughs> it's only slightly more different. Um. That is why you should just do you and make whatever patterns you want with your own style and techniques. Yeah, that's definitely just what I'm aiming for the, for the future. The unfortunate part is I love a good drop shoulder, so it's not a lot of different <laughs> drop shoulder moments. Uh, does anyone prefer a sleeve cuff that's kind of loose or oversized, or do you prefer something that's more snug to the wrist? I don't want my sleeve caught on my jewelry, but I also don't want it dragging. I think anything like this is pretty Gucci. I think it's pretty good. Anything, maybe like you could have it like a little bit bigger, but anything more than that, it's quite bell bottom. Uh, this baffles me so much because everyone's tension is different and people conceptualize patterns differently. Even if two sweaters look the same, this is a chance they're constructed differently. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. And that's half of the fun of knitting. Literally thought I'd make the Sophie <laughs> um, of trying new things. Headband. I prefer the sleeve cuff to be the same size at same same size as the sleeve. Oh, I see what you mean. Like I definitely like the taper. The taper is Gucci, and as long as it's not a drastic change, that's good. Semi loose three quarter sleeve. Okay. Made a lace shawl for fun, and I know I know I won't really wear it. It's a gift pending or a C recipient interesting oh that's good like to get out of your stockinette boredom you knit something for other people oh that totally makes sense uh, i've been wanting to design some socks based on all nine of the sailor senshis and sailor moon literally do it go for it i think even if someone does it or has done it before like that's totally fine um there's nothing stopping you, is essentially what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's a Pinterest photo of someone wearing a red headband ear warmers with a white cable knit sweater. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so true. Oh, yes, you should do that. My pup, due to him being a senior chuggy pub, is lazy, so I'm back from the walk. Oh, no. I mean, at least, at least you got some walking done. Um, definitely think the details, small differences, like how much ease there is in a pattern of the bind off makes a difference in choice. Um, when purchasing a pattern for sure and like needle size as well I think is such an important factor to me like if a sweater is like if sweaters are different needle sizes and they have like different constructions like how can you say that they're not different uh, I'm tempted to knit a zipper sweater man for my father-in-law for Christmas but also that's so much work that is literally the most work you could ask for um I like my cuffs the same width as the sleeve because I fold my cuffs. Okay, stop pushing up my sleeves after someone told me it's bad for knits. Oh no. 
oh no I wanted to uh, make like a really long a sleeve so that you could push it up that's interesting um I'm looking at this pattern in light fingering three and a half needles and somehow the gauge is 24 this pick doesn't show a holy fabric and she described herself as a tight knitter <laughs> I'm confusion oh I don't know this is kind of weird I mean everyone is different so yeah, it's hard I always worry that my tension will be like way off than other people's and then like people are like I can't make this um catching the last of the stream work day was crazy today my brain is dead oh no I like tight cuffs purely for practicality and slightly shorter I think they call it like a watch or bracelet sleeve length oh I see shorter I see I did a baggy long one once and it dipped in my dinner <laughs> oh dude that happens to me but I can't I need it I need it long plus like my arms are naturally kind of longer, so I do have to make, like, I do have to make the sleeve longer. Like, this one time, my friend, she bought me this shirt, or, like, it was a cardigan, and I tried it on, and we couldn't stop laughing, because it went up to, like, here on me, when it was supposed to be, like, full length. Oh my goodness, it was too much. Doing zipper sweater man now started Monday I'm almost done with the body you can do it oh I mean yeah I think if it's like you're, you're using quite big needles right it's like six so you could probably do it um saw the coolest lace swatch a few days ago and it's been haunting me wasn't able to find any further info about it but couldn't get it out of my head finally sat down and figured it out oh my gosh does anyone know the actual pattern difference between the zipper sweater and zipper sweater man is it just overall size and twisted rib regular rib yeah oh 100 percent a hundred percent I think maybe the construction might be a little different like maybe the distribution of the raglan so to fit more of like a man's physique I want to say that's honestly probably the only difference I can't imagine it being so noticeable that you would need to buy both patterns it's mostly just also for the size range I think I think for men's sweaters it goes up a little bit more so I honestly don't know but I feel like my boyfriend collection is essentially that so I guess I'm just becoming patina it because I wanted to make a baby in like junior size versions of things even though I have once criticized her for doing that so I don't know guys I don't know <laughs> um, I like tight cuffs because I'm clumsy and get caught on door handles oh gosh my arms are short. I have to shorten every sleeve length. Oh my gosh, that's so... I mean, at least you have to knit less. That seems like a nice a nice thing to have to do. I dip my blouse number one sleeve in gravy. I feel that pain. Oh, never wear your gorgeous knits to dinner events. That is my number one thing. It's always a mistake because I will always get it dirty, like no matter what. It's so hurtful. Take off the sweater when you are eating. <laughs> that is all I can say. Um, Cause oh my gosh, I wore I wore this sweater to eat, and I got like, like it was like like Korean, like spicy soup. You know that type. I got it on a sleeve, one of the sleeves. It was so hard to get off. I don't even have to think about it. Um, I have long arms, so that's probably why my sleeves often end up bracelet length. I did bell sleeves for the aura top. It's the first time in a while I've worn sleeves like that. I forgot how inconvenient it can be. I'm going to a fiber seminar this weekend. Gonna have an Icelandic knitter teach us knitting and we're gonna dye yarn. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Um, yeah, Knit City is having classes. I don't know if they closed them already, but I'm not doing any, but they do look cool. Um... I think the Ingrid had like 18 rows on the cuff and I only did 12. Nice. Uh, I don't plan on making one for myself, so that's why I'm going for the man pattern, yeah. I love the bell sleeve look, but I dip it in everything. <laughs> um, I've spilled a lot on my Ingrid sweater, but the yarn I use doesn't stain, so it all comes out easily. Oh, that's so lucky. I get so scared. Um, 
I also have to take off my sweaters to cook, yeah. Uh, would you frog if your right arm is 10 stitches more than the left? I'm so tired of my sweater number 22. Right arm is 10 stitches more. What does that mean? Isn't that a lot of a difference? Like, are you at the bottom sleeves and one is 10 stitches more? I'm sorry, girl. That's a lot. Um, Asian foods are extra stainy. Yes. It's so offensive. Because they're super oily and just really bad for you. And yet, here I am. Eating it up. I love using my fancy sauce for every day, and that's my toxic trait because one day I will ruin my Ingrid. <laughs> I'll still wear it. Like, I have clothes <laughs> that just have stains on them. I don't even care. I just love it so much. It's just no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Someone asked about the logic for bottom up. I forgot. I saw it. I totally forgot to say anything. <laughs> um. I don't know. I think it's just a way, it's just a different way to make a pattern. I, I Sometimes like the increases or the decreases are nicer, I find, when you're doing it with like knit together or SSK, but it's so aggravating I can't even like think about doing it. It's the chili oil, 100%. It's a good natural dye. Um, oily doesn't mean it's bad for you. I'm so tired of that propaganda. Whoa, is that true? Because I always get scared about eating, like, deep fried stuff or just, like, have, it. like, like, my grandma will scoop out the oil on top of, like, the food that she cooks because I guess, I, like, it's not good for things to be oily. But please inform me. I have no idea. Um, my BF finds me the coolest vintage printed tees and always has to preface that I can't cook with it because so many of my teas are now PJs. <laughs> no, wear them, wear them. It doesn't even matter, just do it. Uh, I wore a knit sweater to Hot Pot last winter. Huge mistake. Yes, 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 yes. Had to wash it to get the smell to go away. Yes. Yes. She be stanky. <laughs> Uh -huh. Or like Korean barbecue and wearing a sweater, that smell <laughs> literally takes forever to go away. Um, I actually really enjoy bottom up, especially with color work so the stitches end up the right way round. Yeah, so I think people do it because they like the way that the stitches face. I guess people care whether the V is up or the V is down kind of thing, you know? Soups are danger. Soups are the most danger. Um, anyone know a good chili oil that's just spicy and neutral oil? I'm on a chili oil pilgrimage and bought six chili oils and none of them are perfect. I cry. Oh my gosh. Wait, what are you going to do with the chili oils? I have no idea. My grandma makes her own, so I'm of literal no help. Uh, have you ever steaked a sweater? I've never. I don't think I will. I'm too scared to do it. Honestly, and I don't know if I love the look. Uh, speaking of chili oil, uh, I knit a white Tulsa tea because I, wow, this will be the greatest basic to wear all the time, and I spill coffee on it at least once a month. <laughs> yeah, this happened to my uh, Alice top. I cry. I'll just, nah, I'll just have that weird little stain on it forever, I guess. Mm, knitting the drops, 7720 in just brushed alpaca but change the pattern to be top down love it and we'll probably keep it for the springtime yeah another thing you can do like it's really easy most of the time to uh like invert so like if you see something that's bottom up you can always do it top down like as long as you kind of like do the math and figure out the different techniques you can kind of try it just finish my storm nice Make your own, it's so easy, you can customize your chili oil. Yeah. Wait, no, I lied. Um, I can't remember what the main yarn was, but the other was drops kit silk. Okay, that's a good point. I was looking for a reason why people, why do people go through all that counting? I don't know, honestly. 
I only do bottom up because I am such a slow body knitter and this way it's out of the way first. I wouldn't even be able to get through it, <laughs> which is like the scary part. And I don't like that you don't have control over the length of it afterwards. Uh, same with like the sleeves because you don't like, I don't know how long this yoke's going to be. I use it in my salads. It makes it so delicious. Oh, you could do um, peanut butter, like soy sauce and like some of that chili oil. I saw these people make it with like chilled noodles and it looked really good. It looked really good. Um, I'm very sensitive to itchy yarns. Can anyone confirm if alpaca is softer than mohair? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, West Yorkshire Spinners Bo Peep Luxury Yarn. Julie. Just make sure your fans are on high. Ooh, and have a, spl a, a splatter screen. Yes, yes. Ooh, oil is so scary to work with. It just like hops up everywhere. Chaos has a lace weight brushed alpaca. Hmm, okay. Uh, have you ever tried doing a provisional cast on for yoke for bottom up and then doing the body top? down i saw someone do it before not sure if i'm explaining it right yeah i tried doing it so i tried to do it with my cathedral sweater i tried to start provisional cast on you work the yoke i think i am assuming this is what you're talking bottom up yeah so you work from the middle you work the yoke and then you can work the body downwards um and then the sleeves down so it kind of feels like you're doing top down for the most part but uh, for some reason the gauge just like wasn't right every time I did it and it was always way bigger than it needed to be so if you have the patience for it I think it definitely could be done uh, I'm not a spiky yarn person um, but I feel like a packet doesn't help with the pulling as well as the mohair interesting I have never I don't really use a lot of alpaca. I There is this alpaca lace that my supplier has for hand dyeing yarn, and I want to see if it's fuzzy, because then I can see whether it's like uh, like a brushed alpaca or uh, if it's like a alpaca folder trad kind of moment, because I would love to have that for the shop as well. Uh, I really want to frog some pieces that I made that I never wear, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad to destroy my hard work. No, it's more sad that you aren't like getting any use out of the pieces. I say maybe do one and see how that makes you feel like a small one because I have that same issue for sure. I give my knitting flops to my close friends. Yes, that's why I see them still. <laughs> that's kind of sad sounding, but kind of funny at the same time. Ontario has so many alpaca farms and a whole fiber network. Dude, I need to reach out. <laughs> I, oh gosh, I need to reach out. I want to reach out to Destero Ranch, which is a, a yarn place here in Vancouver. And I also, or not Vancouver, like BC. I need to reach out to Kensington Fiber because I would love to hold them in my shop. Because you girls got to support Canadian brands. Oh no, alpaca is so soft. I'm gonna see the Kensington Fiber Shop at Knit City. I cannot wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy more. That's so hurtful. I haven't even used that many yarns. I need to. Oh, I gotta make patterns, guys. Oh, I gotta use up my yarns. It's gonna happen. I'm slowly doing it. Like, I'm even happy I'm using some of this yarn. It's been a while. This guy's just been chilling. Uh, they accept my knits like it's the best thing that has ever happened to them and I just know I was off gauge use the wrong yarn <laughs> one arm's bigger than the other yeah that's what my my aunt came in she took a lot of my yarn or a, a couple of my knits and I was like girl just take them I don't even want them anymore um I really like the vertical stripe sweater and it's bottom up because it's wait because it drape is so much nicer in my opinion wait is it really the bottom up is nicer Sorry, the necklaces are... Uh, I gave away my red... It's like a red tee that I made out of acrylic. I gave that one to her. Um, and I gave my grandma... 
gave my grandma my balloon card again. <laughs> is it the same aunt who keeps asking you to knit for her? Yes, it is. That is so funny. Because I made her a Friday slipover when I was first knitting. And she's like, I want more. And I'm like, girl, you gotta learn. I want to make a vertical sweater, like the vertical striped sweater, but I want it to be uh, top down because I think that would be stunning. And like baggier, like bat, like a like a balloon kind of esque arm. But I barely have enough time to knit these days. Um, is drop sweater itchy? Considering buying some. I think it's okay. I think it's, I've definitely felt itchier yarns, like, like, but the, the, I think the Sunday, Sunday scarn is really nice. Not itchy at all. Uh, literally just finished my front panel of my crochet sweater. Took the whole stream. At least you got there, dude. Awesome. Drop sore is not itchy. Yes. Petite knit one looks so oddly fitted on her. Yeah, the vertical stripe one. I need it to be like, just draped to the goodness gracious um yeah the bellish collab one that's oh what a throwback guys yeah i gave her that one she was oddly in love with it i'm pretty sensitive so i think flora's itchy yeah i think if you're sensitive flora is definitely itchy um yeah i think because the yarn is pretty light and do the four by four ribbing it doesn't get as tight when it's bottom up. Okay. <laughs> Rip bellish, guys, I know. Um, no, but I would totally do a top down because it looks so nice. Oh, so sad belief bellish dead. It was a good concept. It was a great concept, but honestly hard, hard, I think, to really consistently have. What is Bella? Should I know about it? No, you shouldn't because it is dead. Um, it used to be an app that let you customize, I guess, your own pattern. So it would allow you to choose like, oh, I want a drop shoulder or a raglan sweater. I want it to have short sleeves, long sleeves. I want it to have like stripes for like this sort of design. And then you I think you choose I don't remember if you choose the needle size or the weight of the yarn, but then it would generate a whole pattern for you, kind of like that. And it would do it for socks. I think cardigans. Um, does anyone else get that ad for a fancy row counter that's like $100? I have not seen that. I have not. We made a Louvre dupe with Bellish and it was the second sweater I ever knit. That's really good. Um... I knit a sock with it, but it wasn't my fave. The sock was a little big. Does it bother anyone else when a designer is wearing the wrong size in pictures to promote a pattern? Like it's supposed to have negative ease, but they're clearly wearing something oversized. <gasps> Are you talking about Petite Knits Wednesday sweater? Because I feel that. I never know what, like she usually, like in the description, it says that she's wearing the extra small, but do I believe it? Absolutely not. Uh-uh, there's no way. Because I've made the Wednesday sweater in a small and that thing, no, in a medium. And it was the smallest thing of my entire life. An absolute lie. I will never forgive her for that. But I still love her for everything else. Uh, I agree, Florentina, it sucks. How are we supposed to know the accounted drape? Yes. I hate that. Like, I need to know how it looks with the recommended ease. Yeah. Oof, okay, I'm already running out of this yarn. I don't know where the rest of my... I don't know where the rest of my... 
Oof, my drops. My drops. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this Henley now. Because I don't have any more drops. Flora. Oh, I'm going to have to get some. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll wait for it to go on sale, guys. <laughs> um, I wasn't talking about patina. I guess a lot of people do it. I mean, I think it's just because that Wednesday sweater hurt me a little. Um, but I don't think she does it. She always says which which um, size she does. But I can see other designers also doing it. Um, I should probably preface what size I'm wearing in each of the pictures. So thank you for letting me know. I will do that. Roll counter is called the nudge. Okay. <laughs> Patina's gauge is also insane. She's such a tight knitter, in my opinion. Oh, I can see that. I need designers to include the model's measurements and the garment size worn on patterns, for sure. Oh, I should do that. Oh, I should do that. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that for certain. Oh, I'm gonna have to, like, update all my patterns. Okay. Wait. Question, what did you use for the Wednesday sweater? Because True Lane made one. It was oversized and she didn't size up. I made it with one. Well, I unraveled it. I didn't even like it. I did one strand uh, kid silk mohair, one strand drops Lima. Uh, petite knit is a loose knitter in my opinion. I think she is... Okay, I'm trying to think. I think she is a she's like a tight knitter because usually her swatches are when she blocks it that's the measurement that she takes um but i will i i will i will measure it based off of how i knit so i always knit it a little bigger so that's why i think my pieces are slightly bigger than the smalls uh but yes uh omg yeah her gauge is whack oh um, may i always have to size up at least one needle size for patina patterns i knit so tight damn i always knit her smalls which is like not my size at all maybe i'm the problem no oh my gosh uh, I never knit patina on gauge anyway, so I just never notice. I just use the stitch counts against my gauge and make it work. Mm. I noticed patina used the same gray flat lay photo in the zipper man light in the women's light. OMG Kim T. Okay, let's look. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna look. We're gonna go. We're, we're looking, guys. Um, patina. I need designers to include height as well. I'm short and drowning in sweaters. Ooh, that is true. Um,. Patina also puts her height. She's like 5'4", apparently. But is she? I don't know. Um, I always have to size up my noodle size with her. Well, I was confused because I had been contemplating if it's worth to buy both patterns or just the women's. I noticed the photo and the colors the exact same. Okay, let's let's deep dive, guys. Let's deep dive. This is the real tea. Zipper sweater light. Oh, is it this one? Okay, let's look at it. PK looks like she's your height. What? What? She's not my height. What? This girl's small. <laughs> I don't believe she's 5'4". That's my height. <laughs> oh, like you guys are saying she's taller. I think Peruvian Highland Wool is worsted, which is a size up from Lima. Interesting. Wait. Because Lima is 100 meters. Is the Peru You're telling me the Peruvian Highland is... But, like... Let me just double check. Wow! Galt House of Yarn got Peruvian Highland. Go them. Oh my gosh, I, gotta, I should order from them. Uh, it's 100 meters! It, they're both 100 meters. Tell me. Tell me where I'm going wrong. Okay. You're 40. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Not petite knit gives solid 5-3 energy. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's four. What? Um, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. We're, oh, there you go. Uno. This is the men. Oops. 
there's fluff on here. I can't use my mouse right now. Shoot. I need to try to scrape the fluff off. Yes, the gauge is the same and the size are so close. Look eat there. Look oh. Oh my gosh. They're literally the same. That's funny. Wait, okay. You guys, should we call her out on this? Be like, can you not lie to me? <gasps> Stop it right now. Wait. Do you think that she... What is this? Do you think she's wearing... No, there's no way she would be wearing the same one. That makes absolutely no sense. The other one, too. Yeah, they're the same. It's like a stock kind of photo because they look the same. The only reason is this is... That one looks different. Like, they look like they're different. Like sizes like this looks so thick compared to this one looks so tiny okay 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 let's do some investigation okay so it's supposed to have 20 per 20 centimeters of positive ease both of them okay next the sizing extra small to 5xl 80 yeah, so the sizing is a little bit different. A <laughs> shady lady, oh no. Corporate wants corporate wants you to spot the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. <laughs> I could see this being an oversight. Oh, like someone so like like someone who's working for her did this because they literally look the same. I get the wanting to not take another photo, but like, just don't put it in this one because you already have this photo. You don't need another, you know what I mean? Wait, <gasps> okay, wait, wait, I'm going to, I'm just dragging the photo to see what it says. It, <gasps> guys, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. If you drag the photo out, cause you can like save them as um, JPEGs. It says zipper sweater light man. And this is the woman version guys guys wait wait look at the bottom for the size she made okay well look it doesn't say she didn't say did she say am i blind she didn't say <laughs> okay okay zippers are found okay okay let's see okay well then this would be different because the sizing are different it's on three and three and a half investigative journal dude literally I should be in investigative journalism. I would be, I would have my own talk show. Oh my goodness. Um, this poor Danish woman doesn't know how deep our obsession is. Patina is sweating right now, guys. Yeah, it seems like they uploaded it to the wrong place or she was intentional. Cause how do you miss, how do you miss the tag guys? You don't just miss the tag. Cause in the description of the picture, it says zipper sweater man. So I'm just gonna look at her picture here. No, exactly. Something's fishy. But the the way you collected that evidence, oh, it had to have been, it was, this is so clear. It is the most clearest of them all. Um, someone fired that intern. <laughs> no, that's so mean. I mean like, eh, I can't hate on them. Um, okay. I'm just trying to see, cause the gauge is probably going to be the same. 20, 28, 20, 28. Yeah. So I honestly feel like you could knit either one of them and that's totally fine. Okay. Um, but the, okay. I always wondered how big the patina team is. Like, is it her plus two or three people or whole business 10 plus? I think it's a big team. If I could give you, I think it's definitely more than three people. Um, she, like, she, I don't know, like, I can't tell the people that she models or has modeled for her in the, in the, in the studio. I think those people for sure work for her and I've seen different people pack stuff up for her. So it has to be at least five. Um, I mean, how cute of them to have matching sweaters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess they really are just matchy matchy. Um, I feel like it's 10 plus. Oh, wow. Maybe. I feel like she probably only does the initial sample these days. Yeah. But then she must take all the photos. But there's so many photos. I don't even know how. 
Um, she's got to be a millionaire by now. She probably doesn't even know what the website looks like. Wait, is there something in my teeth? <gasps> no one told me that was hurtful. Um, she has a photographer. Well, I mean, there's someone taking this photo, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? There's someone taking this photo too. You think there's someone taking this photo? I always thought it was always her. Don't worry, girl, we didn't notice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's because I wasn't, it's it's because this picture is so small, you can't even. Um, yeah, someone had, there, there can't be, there's no way she's like, oh my gosh. Um, I think she for sure does make her own patterns for sure still. Like she, she's for sure making this list, you know. Um, but she gets so many people to knit stuff for her. My guess is minimum six based off some celebration photos I've seen. I guarantee she doesn't even grade or write anymore at this point. I mean, she also has customer service, uh, people who write emails. Uh, she has people who send stuff out for her for sure and pack things for her. Um... What if her hubby is the photographer? It can't be. I thought he was a doctor. Yeah, it's definitely not him. It's definitely like someone who's working for her. Uh, I think she outsources most of her work. I'm sure she knits the yokes, but I think she gives it to someone else after. Dude. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Not to be like so absolutely cringe stalker to patina it, but I agree. There's no way she can knit so many things so fast. And it makes sense to kind of give it off once you hit the body and then be like, oh, look at me. Um, how do y'all, how do y'all know so much about her? Oh, I mean, yeah, she, she has four kids. Wait, it's not that difficult. You just look at her children on her because she just shares all of them on her, her thing. It's just like not even possible. Um, like, excuse me, who knit this for her? I don't think it was her. This is not my final answer. Um, she def gotta be making bank of patterns like she's not just a knitwear designer she's a whole businesswoman at this point i know <laughs> i know matt has said that she only uploads to her instagram yes um how did we find the husband's occupation wait so i think it's because i think i found it because it was linked he was linked on her instagram so i looked at him and he has like a cooking instagram i don't know if he still really does um but it said that he was a doctor okay Okay, like, look at this. She did not do this. She did not do this. All of the storm sweaters. You're telling me she knit both of these sweaters while also... Like, she... I also don't think she knit this one. I also don't think she knit her father's version. Um. Oh, on her website, there's a bio. Okay, okay. She's an entire army. She has, like, an entire team of people, and I guarantee she's a sample knitter to do most of her knitting. I mean, most medium to high-end indie designers have a tech editor, professional grader, probably not on her stuff. I'd like someone she contracts work out to. Okay, okay. Speaking of that bow, I'm obsessed with the color. Dude, I know. I need it. I, like, need one for my hair. It looks gorgeous. Uh, also, okay, like, she def's made the baby version. I think? <laughs> she has five children now she does she has five children now she does you're absolutely right her neighbor is also a knitter yes and they like gift each other knit things like t tell me how she made she finished the chorizo sweater tell me how she finished the chorizo sweater while also knitting this one Yeah, she got five kids now. I totally forgot. That's so funny. I mean, it's not funny. I mean, she just... Yeah, she made this whole thing. Okay, 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 okay. This was a day ago. Okay, internalize that. That was the 20th. The 20th. Okay, her swatch. Three weeks ago. Okay, she could be done. But, like, that's my entire three weeks. Do you know what I mean? Um... So in those three weeks, she finished the baby version of the storm sweater. She started it here two weeks ago. Okay, and she started the yoke of this guy. 
but she also knits fast. But then, like, she has five children. Like, I think I knit fast, but I don't have children. Do you know what I mean? Like, it might not be in real time. Oh my gosh, you oh my god, she pre- she pre-posts. I feel like she does make at least the first one. She, she probably has the testers make other versions. I wonder if she pays. She must pay them. There's no way. Um, bruh, how do they manage all the kids while full time knitting, being a doctor, having a cooking and stuff, knitting? And oh, like, I don't think it's like a real knit, like cooking and stuff, but yeah, I don't know how she does it. Probably as a nanny of me. <laughs> It'd be weird for people to knit stuff for her family. Maybe they aren't really for her family at all. I know there are some where. Like, she'll wear it once, and then I never see her wear it again. So, she might have a... Like, people probably make her patterns for themselves, and she gets to wear them for shoots, and then gives them away, kind of thing. Most designers at her level will have one or two sample knitters. I see. It's probably a business expense, knitting for her children. <laughs> She has to, I mean, would she really test knit as she's working up her new color work sweater? Mm, no. Uh, she pre plans posts and patterns. There's no way. <laughs> I have one kid and it's ma it's making knitting nearly impossible. Maybe they're not even her kids. She just hires them to be baby models. Oh my gosh. These are some really, these are some really good points. We might never get answers, no. The patina tea is hot when Tiffany goes seven minutes over time. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's three. Oh, okay. The conspiracies are going too far already. Dream of the day I can become a permanent typical bliss tester. Oh my goodness. A dream. I need sample knitters like yesterday. Um, plus the video tutorial lady and then managing her site. Oh yeah, the, the video lady. Her kids are like copy paste though. I know. They're like 100% her children. There's no way. <laughs> Um, uh, I think she should definitely credit her sample knitters. Oh, okay. That's, I believe that. Also, the fact that she has such a huge following and doesn't write her captions in English. True. But they're so conveniently converted to English. It's, like, not a big deal. Okay. Um, okay, we are totally over time. I'm so, honestly, not sorry. Because you probably ate up the content. So, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on this stream. Thank you for feeding into my addiction with drops and hopefully we can find out together whether it is worth it or not. Um, we'll be back for the Tuesday, Thursday stream. A video is going to go up on Friday, which is going to be fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Good evening. Good, whatever, wherever you are and, uh, yeah, have a good weekend and happy knitting as always. See you later. Bye.